Hi, Derek. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm like changing. Uh, so for my website, uh, so like I have this like starter page and then I want to change it to something like this uh, where I like I click here and I'll go to scratch. I'll click here, I'll go to Python and so on. All right. Um, and so like this is like a rollover image. Like so if you see this eyeball right here, it moves from being looking to the bottom right to looking right at the person, right? Or it doesn't move, but it just like slowly transitions from one image to another. And uh, the transition is so small that uh, it looks kind of like the eyes move in to look at them, right? And so that's what I want you to do. Um, so here's the original picture, and uh, I'll demonstrate that one eyeball, and then you can do the rest of these eyeballs. Um, so what do I do? I uh, if you're not familiar with Photoshop, you go ahead and uh, zoom in to like 500% right here. Right? You can go even closer if you'd like. And then uh, right over here, uh, I'm going to use the selection tool. And then I will try to get the eye out as cleanly as possible. So maybe like that. And I could say copy or cut. Maybe I can cut it. And then I will paint bucket. And I'll click on the color swath. I will touch the color that I want. Right now, this color has become the color that I want. I say OK. I use my paint bucket and paint it in. OK. And then I'm going to go here to my paintbrush. And then right here is that size 20. The hardness means the edges. If it's at zero, that means the edges are like transparent. And then if it's 100, then the edges are sharp and defined. Right, so we want it hard, and then the pixels. I want to make it a little bit smaller, like maybe ten pixels. And then I'm over here. Whoa, mama, that's not good. And then what do I want to do? Um, okay, this is the history brush. I don't want that. I'm sorry. It's this one here. This is the pencil. Okay, and then uh, you can like right click it. You could choose a brush or a pencil. Um, and then over here, we're going to change this to 10 pixels, hardness at 100, and then we'll go ahead and erase what was, ooh, it's too much. So we're going to, whoa. You can press Control Z to go back in time. And if you need to go back in time more than once, you're going to hold down Control and Alt. Um, and then press Z as many times as you need to go back in time. So you see here now I have uh, a clean slate. So I'm going to go ahead and control V the eyeball back in. And I'm going to use my move tool to move him like, I don't know, kind of centered out where it looks like he's looking at you. And then we got to go in and you see these edges are red right here. So we need to get that taken care of. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more to 700. Whoa, that's not good. Uh, let's do 600. Whoa. Why does it look like that? Okay. Anyways, I guess 500 is the sweet spot. And then I'm going to go back to my brush tool, which is right here, my pencil. My color is still the eyeball color here. So I can come in and I can just like click. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I think I'm on the wrong layer. No, I'm on the right layer. Okay. So then I'll come in here and I'll click. Am I not writing on here? Hmm. So we got the brush, we got three pixels, yes. No layers are selected. Okay, be sure to select the eyeball layer. That's the one that we want to mess around with. Okay, so that's working. And then I'm going to come here and I'm going to click, click. Ooh, that doesn't look good. So we could kind of click our way in a race, but it doesn't look natural. Like it doesn't look like this side, right? So I'm going to go back in time a little bit. And then I am going to get the selection tool. I am going to copy this side of the eyeball. And then just control C. And then I'm going to paste it, control V. And then if you click the move tool, you can see I can move them around, right? And, but now I want to reverse its, like, I don't know, its orientation. So you press control T, transform. And then I'm going to click on this side, the left side. And I'm going to drag it over this way. So now it's orientation is reversed go click on the move tool say apply and now I can put this guy right where the other one is make sure it's lined up it looks good yep that's right about lined up right there so I'm gonna move him up and lock him into place and that is my eyeball uh, I guess I can go ahead and get my 
brush tool and be sure that I have this gray here um, and then there's just some spots here that we can clean up right and then I think that's about it yeah that's about it so this side now looks like this side and if I zoom back out to 100% right here let's cancel that down here at the bottom 100% voila right so the eyeball looks nice and good so then what I want you to do is to like go ahead and adjust like these eyeballs as well so that they're all kind of looking at the viewer. Um, yeah, and uh, if you haven't realized yet, uh, Photoshop and image adjustment is a huge part of web development.